we're on easy street and it feels so sweet because the world is but a treat when you're on easy street welcome to the easy street radio show hosted by rob scribner grab a cup of coffee and let's get started this video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Street. This is Rob Scribner and uh, you can find Easy Street on Good Talk Radio uh, during the weekdays and you can catch us on Spreaker and several other platforms. So make sure and uh, check that out in the description below. Also, don't forget to get on Amazon Help us out and buy some Ranger Rob poopy bags. If you got a dog and you want some good poopy bags and their quality with handles, once you use them, you'll never want to go back. So yeah, check out some Ranger Rob poopy bags. We appreciate it and it helps the channel. Also, if you could help us out, go to Good Talk Radio on the website itself, goodtalkradio.com. There's a donation button. Hey, every little bit helps, even if it's just a dollar. Anyway, uh, today, I'm going to follow up again on survival because, as we're hearing, a lot of uh, cities are going back into lockdown or they're going into mandatory uh, masks again. And, oh my goodness, like we really need this. Uh, I also want to warn you um, ahead of time, you may hear some wind. It's a little breezy today. Uh, I still don't have my studio up. It may be a while. So we'll walk around the new property we bought here in Central Oregon. And uh, I'll tell you one thing. Going from the city of Phoenix <laughs> or Mesa to where we're at now, uh, I was definitely getting a little chunky and a little bit uh, uh, out of shape. And so now I've been mowing lawns cleaning up uh, planning, getting ready for uh, I am trying to plant a few things this year. I'm a little late. It's, it's the uh, well, almost the beginning of July. And uh, there's a couple of things I was able to plant. Uh, I guess over here past the pond, I uh, found a little area where we could just put some uh, sugar snap peas and uh, zucchini and a couple things that may make it to the winter and actually produce a little bit. So hopefully, cross my fingers, Next early winter, I've got a big chore where I've got to cut a really large garden. And luckily I have a tractor now. And uh, we got five acres here to work on. And it's like, once again, what is this all about? And the story is, is all you have to do is watch the news. The news is insane. <laughs> totally insane. Uh, now the... Uh, Cities want to uh, restrict everybody again, wear masks. Uh, some areas are doing great, and then other cities are just going nuts with COVID. And uh, I don't know what to say. But, you know, uh, I just can't imagine God wanting us all to run around with bubble suits on. And by the way, they're selling bubble suits now. <sighs> when there's a crisis, find a solution. <laughs> Make some money. Bubble suits. <laughs> that was the craziest things you ever seen. A bubble suits that go over your body to your waist. And they're made to go to work in and everything else. And it's like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. So, <laughs> what do we need to do? Well, we know we're going to have a food shortage. So please, people, start a pantry. Start a... You don't have to get that dried food. You can do a lot of stuff um, from the grocery store, very affordably, by the way. And there's that wind, sorry. Anyway, uh, Sherry and I actually, we bought some dried food, so we got a couple of weeks worth of that dried food you buy in a bucket, and it's like a one for two people, one week's worth of food. But man, that stuff's expensive. So uh, we started, buying our own pasta, buying more uh, flour and things like that, and uh, uh, then repackaging it or jarring it and vacuum sealing it. And uh, we, uh, I could say we're 
and bought a lot of canned goods with protein in them like um oh you can get raviolis with meat in it or you can get a uh, stews stuff like that in a can you know last years and uh we're up to about six months worth of food and also the property we're on we have our own well and uh so uh i don't have to worry about the water supply issue here so much as long as i can produce in uh electricity which i do have a generator so my point being is we've all been through crises and always been up and downs and there's going to be probably a recession if not a depression and uh it's you got to get ready and be proactive try to get out of debt take care of them debts they're going to haunt you um luckily the government's doing this has never happened before when i at least in my lifetime where the government's actually uh subsidizing us uh some are doing it through unemployment uh and putting a uh six hundred dollars on top of that i think that's going to go away but uh uh then people got stimulus checks that's never happened before normally we just fall on our face uh right off the bat now we just get to fall on our face later <laughs> so, anyway so some of you folks are saying well i'm in debt right now i can't well start working on it you might have time to fix problems that are come uh, that's going to haunt you when he, take the amount of money that you are paying out every month uh you must have some way of looking at that and then figure out what it is let's say it's uh four thousand dollars a month between rent food gas etc and uh maybe you have a cable bill maybe you have a bondage uh ip phone some some things that you could knock off like you don't need cable and you don't have to have uh satellite you can use antenna tv just fine and you can see lots of the news either from fox or cnn whatever you prefer uh just do uh, youtube uh if your television is in a smart television get one of those fire sticks works really good uh start knocking off some of the bills uh just you know since i'm not in phoenix anymore i don't have to pay for a uh, uh, a pool guy to take care of my pool i don't have to pay for landscaping anymore uh gosh i wish i would because now i'm getting way too much exercise but uh sherry and i just knocked off the bills something fierce and uh some of them we were able to do right away uh with the sale of our house we're taking some proceeds and taking care of some other debt that'll be all gone uh really the only thing we have is a mortgage and uh our mortgage is whoa kind of windy sorry i'll go to a non-windy side here uh our mortgage is comprehensible we could handle that now sherry and i were fortunate two to three years from now we can go on social security we're not there yet uh, i do have a business as you know this and ranger rob poopy bags <laughs> and uh so uh and i have a pension because i retired from my aerospace company not a big one so we got to make sure that we know what those output numbers are that i told you to add up reduce them down and then find a way that you can maintain a lifestyle and put rent into that or mortgage and uh find a way to survive this because we're all going to get beat up something fierce uh food prices are going to go nuts so any prepping that you can do now and food that you can hold on for a long period of time uh will be the way to go uh i don't know downsize things this is the time to do it some housing markets are still doing good uh we sold our house in phoenix in less than two days uh it wasn't a fancy house either uh so the market's pretty good but um i don't understand that totally either uh you know there's a lot of people working but there's a lot that are, are not working and you got to realize if you're getting unemployment that stimulus uh 
check above your that they're putting on top of your unemployment is going to go away so plan on it and really uh, what I'm talking about is instead of just waiting for things to happen be proactive um, try to get more self-reliant like I said in the last show uh, learn how to uh, store food learn how to entertain yourself without paying for a bunch of video stuff and television stuff um, trust me with this new place I just snagged I have more than an, n enough time to keep me busy where I don't have to be entertained sitting on a couch uh, certain habits you may have uh, you know quit buying so much uh, uh, coffee uh, at Starbucks or things like that knock those numbers down if you can save any money, great. Uh, if you can buy a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, uh, gold is tougher obviously, silver, get a little bit at a time just to have a little. I don't recommend a lot because if really things got tough and you had to do trading and you wanted food and somebody else wanted something, seeds or something, uh, that would be more valuable than silver to them. So I'm not sh I'm not totally sold on this precious metal stuff. If things really got bad and you had to trade and work with your community, people would want to trade substantial things like food, bullets, uh, mechanical things, uh, tools, things like that would be very valuable. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But uh. I'm worried for you. I'm worried about me, of course. And uh, so uh, when I say I'm worried, I'm worried about people that aren't planning ahead. People assume that everything's going to be okay. And I know so many people are trying to destroy our history. But history will teach us how to deal with some of this stuff. Um, history will tell us that we will have a recession or a depression again. History also says we're probably going to have a war again. If war happens, you might actually see something happen on our our <laughs> our continent, and that's really never happened before. And uh, this perspective of all these folks that are all worried about uh, the PC environment, racism. Uh, what do they say? When everything's going good, people get petty. That petty stuff will go away really quick when we're in a crisis. Suddenly, they're just going to worry about food instead of who's black or white. Suddenly, uh, trying to have a roof over your head is going to be more important whether you are uh, know your pronouns. Uh, that could happen very soon. And it... my mission or people's missions who are Christian also need to say that all this that is happening is documented it really is uh, it's in the Bible and why did I learn more about the Bible because first of all I used to hear a lot of things about Israel and I didn't understand really all the stuff going on over there so the obvious thing was to read the Old Testament hard to read <laughs> and it's not exactly uh, uh, the nicest stuff there's some, you know, some some wild stuff in that in the Old Testament and uh, but it'll teach you what the heck is the deal with the uh, being Jewish and what Israel is all about so if you want to learn history read the Old Testament then, if you want to know what's going on now with all these events, uh, the New Testament will uh, definitely uh, enlighten you. Uh, between Ezekiel and Daniel and uh, Revelations, everything that's going on is documented. So, I'll leave it at that. I don't like to be preachy. I don't, I'm not trying to turn you off. I want you to be curious. And the only way that you're going to go any farther to learn a little bit about 
what's going on is if you're curious enough and it's you, you can't be pushed I know you don't want to be pushed uh, but I hope you're curious enough that maybe you ought to crack that book open and and use uh, the internet use uh, Tom Hughes is a real good guy to use even Paul Begley's not too bad he's kind of crazy uh, but there's a lot of great ministers or prophecy ministers that will help you along to understand what you're reading because it's a hard read but you can get through it I got through it I'm far from intellectual as you can tell so uh, anyway guys and once again I apologize for the breeze uh, it's a breezy day today don't have a studio yet I'm still grateful the Lord's been very good to me and Sherry uh, I gotta tell you ever since we've kind of learned more about our faith and about being good people the more we've been blessed uh, things have been going our way things have our plans have worked the things that we're thinking through are working um, and uh, you know we had to make a big change to come to a place like this this is not an easy life this looks pretty doesn't it I mean it looks gorgeous but it's a lot of work way beyond what we had in the city uh, we're just getting fat and sassy down there in Arizona sitting around the pool and too hot to really do anything and uh, suddenly our bodies are going "Ooh, I got pains I've never had before and I gotta say that's probably a good thing um, so anyway I I really uh, am concerned for you I'm concerned for us my family uh, I'm concerned about our kids uh, I don't know how they're gonna deal with schools they say they're gonna open schools in September however the good thing is is if we're not opening schools in September and we're gonna learn how to homeschool you won't be subjected to so much of this uh, core curriculum stuff that's go common core uh, where there where history is not being taught anymore uh, we need to know what caused all the different wars we had in the past because we are actually creating the same conditions again and when we talk about racism or slavery <laughs> if you don't know history you realize uh, slavery started way back why don't we boycott uh, Egypt didn't they have a uh, slavery <laughs> uh, just ask Israel uh, slavery is nothing new here uh, we learned how to get away from it that makes us a better country um, we fought a war over it um, what we really need to focus on is us Americans all of us all people matter I want to even say lives all people matter the only thing I'm racist against is a stupid idiot <laughs> What I, I embrace, I don't care where you're from, what you look like, is good people trying to make things better. And not blaming, but being, working forward. Now that's, you know, let's all work forward to be better. Uh, and not dwell on the past. Every race has something that they could go back in the past on and, and dwell on it and uh, it doesn't do us any good um, moving forward and making life better or trying to defund police because one percent of them are bad no let's let's educate that one percent and make them better or get rid of them and uh, we need the protection we need the people and to enforce our rule of law um, and we got to learn that life is precious so whether you're pro and con abortions or anything like that just remember that's all life and all life if we can embrace it it's a good thing and uh, no matter what happened in the past oh maybe uh, uh, there's something in your life or past that you uh, did that wouldn't that be exactly the nicest thing in the world you can get past that very easily you can be forgiven 
where you all should be forgiven. I, all blacks should forgive people what they did in the past. All Indians, all Egyptians, all Jewish people, and just move forward. And, and let's get the work of making our, this a better place for everyone. And then we got to be cautious because there's a lot of uh, turmoil going on in the Mideast and no one's paying attention to it. And our, the, our main media is not talking about it either. And we need to be alert of uh, things that happen over there could spill over here. And that would not be good. My other worry is if we're attacked, <laughs> one is we're not, we're so divided right now, we won't know how to react. We're really getting soft. And uh, we really need to realize that our, uh, our nation uh, is, is getting weak as far as people being united. If you're not united, we may just lose all this stuff we have. This United States has been a great place to live. Is it perfect? No. And we're always trying to improve it. That's why, like, defunding the p police is not the way to go. Reforming police may be the way to go. Make it better. Keep improving. Process improvement. Uh, but I uh, watched something on Tom Hughes the other day, um, uh, and it really... For a spiritual side, it's it's written that so many people are going to go to their self-awareness kind of life and 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 uh, anger and stuff that it, this is almost a spiritual battle. And what I mean by that is, is you're talking between being uh, good and evil, or or. Uh, Satan and Christianity or or the Lord uh, some of these people are so angry so um, bitter you can see in their eyes that you look at them and we go are you serious hello are you there like something's grabbed them and says this is what you're gonna believe now you if you're gonna believe that uh, everything's so bad then I'll make you delirious mm -hmm. <laughs> our Lord says he said he'd do that so you gotta get that off track I get this make you believe it and and put it into your hearts and you'll literally live that life and uh, although you'll be short-lived but have you ever seen some people so angry about using the word or talking about Trump or talking about racism or that they're so angry you can't even talk to them you can't even have dialogue it's like hello hello are you there it's like just anger 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 it just overwhelms them like I don't know how to describe it I've seen it before it's scary it's you can kind of see that darkness to them and uh, they're just overcome by evil by uh, destruction and riots and, and hurting people and hurting property and and you can't talk to them and and it's actually documented that this was going to happen what can you do what can we do and they say well as individuals we actually have a lot of power as individuals deal one-on-one -on -one. those are important like family make sure that you uh, uh, introduce them to uh, to Christ, to uh, not religion, but the uh, the Bible and understanding what's going on, help them understand what's what they're what's required of them is love. Love is a powerful tool. I'm telling you, try to love everyone. And uh, I know that we all have to sit back here and watch all this craziness go on, and it's, it breaks our hearts. All we can do is live as good people. Spread the word when we can. Don't be obnoxious. 
if someone says, why are you so happy? Just say, well, I understand what's going on. If they ask why, go a little farther. If they don't, you did your best. And the Lord knows you did your best. Uh, but save those who are worth saving, those who show signs or curiosity before this really gets bad, like your kids, your family, your grandkids, uh, give them a hint of what they need to do because that's it's going to get so bad and all this darkness around us is going to be really really bad and uh, don't get depressed you actually should get happy because it's a sign that something's happening and uh, uh, do your jobs be good servants and uh, spread the word live a good life uh, be kind to those you can live by example uh, be prepared be smart protect your family believe in the Creator look up because they say when we start seeing everything we're seeing right now look up 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 and pray once in a while and you don't have to do this praying around the table and all that stuff pray in private pray in a closet pray when no one's looking that's okay God says it's all right do it do you have to go to church no should you yes <laughs> but no you don't have to but make sure you talk to them find out what's going on the answers are in the book spread love when you can be smart prepare and uh, try to enjoy life even under these circumstances so guys I want to thank you very much for watching and listening to easy street we love you all please leave a comment good bad or indifferent please be professional about it and uh, until next time, we'll talk to you later. So, uh, bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.